edible too, such as the blue crab. The hermit crab lives in borrowed shells which it discards for larger sizes as it grows. The phenomenal region or tail end and a rigid cephalothorax or head end. Its tail often serves as a paddle for a quick getaway. The crayfish is very like the lobster, only smaller. Its entire body is covered by a hard exoskeleton. Its long antennae are sensitive to touch and taste. Each compound eye, mounted at the end of a movable stalk, consists of hundreds of smaller eyes. The eyes are especially adapted to detect moving objects. Beneath the protecting exoskeleton are the gill chambers through which the crayfish pumps water to obtain oxygen. Some of the gills are attached to certain appendages which assist in the breathing process. Large powerful claws help the crayfish to defend itself and are also used in attack. On occasions crayfish may attack one another. Serious injuries are often inflicted. The claws can cut and crush almost any body part. This one has suffered a badly wounded leg, a serious injury for most animals. But a marvelous process called autotomy enables the crayfish to sever the wounded leg voluntarily between certain segments, leaving only a stump. Autotomy stops the bleeding automatically. After several months of gradual development, a new leg of full size will finally replace the injured one. Amazing too is the life cycle of the crayfish. After the mating season, the female lays eggs which are fastened to her swimmerette appendages by a glue she secretes. The egg cluster so resembles a blackberry that females with eggs are said to be in berry. The female moves her swimmerettes back and forth in the water to aerate the eggs. Here is another species in berry. Over a period of several weeks, the eggs develop and hatch. The young crayfish cling to their mother's swimmerettes for a few days after hatching. As their bodies grow, the hard exoskeleton cannot expand, so it is shed by molting and replaced by a new and larger one. Molting occurs about seven times the first year and once or twice a year thereafter. Malacostrica means soft-shelled, but refers only to the softness of the shell immediately following the shedding of the exoskeleton, since the shells of Malacostricans include the hardest shells of all crustaceans. Now watch the crayfish make a final flip out of its old skeleton. Until the new exoskeleton hardens, hours later, crustaceans are helpless against attack. The crayfish eats both vegetable and animal matter, dead or alive. The claws are sometimes used to capture and tear the food. But the smaller appendages are used to hold the pieces of food which are torn up by the jaws and swallowed. A group of teeth in the stomach, called the gastric mill, grind the food into fine particles. Crustaceans abound in great variety.